LaserGuard Pro takes standard equipment for personal defense to the next level. Designed for today's most popular personal protection firearms, LaserGuard Pro combines a red or green laser sight and 150 lumen LED white light and features Crimson Trace's instinctive activation in a compact unit. I'm Gary Killingsworth with Crimson Trace. In this video, we're going to discuss installation and operation procedures for the Crimson Trace LaserGuard Pro line of laser sighting and tactical lighting systems. LaserGuard Pro is a growing line of products offered for today's popular personal protection firearms. These products are model specific as they're designed to seamlessly fit the frame of the firearm by securing around the trigger guard of the pistol. LaserGuard Pro products are completely user installed in less than five minutes with zero alterations to the firearm. Additionally, the laser is fully adjustable for windage and elevation, allowing you to fine tune laser sighting to your personal preference. All models offer four modes of operation and feature a master on off switch for completely powering down the unit for training with your pistol sights. Within the Crimson Trace factory packaging, you'll find the following items. The LaserGuard Pro unit itself, the Laser Sight Owner's Handbook, a Crimson Trace warranty registration card, the model-specific LaserGuard Pro installation handbook, and an accessory kit including mounting and sighting hardware, lens cleaning swabs, laser safety stickers, and the unit's battery. To begin installing the LaserGuard Pro unit, Begin by separating the right and left sides of the unit. The fit may be snug, but no tools are required. Insert the battery with the positive side facing forward into the right side panel of the LaserGuard Pro unit. It will seat firmly into place. Please note, Crimson Trace is proud to offer a free Batteries for Life program. See our website for complete details. Once the battery has been correctly installed, we're going to install the LaserGuard Pro on the firearm. I'm demonstrating with a Smith & Wesson M&P shield. Slide the battery side of the LaserGuard Pro onto the trigger guard and snap into place. Ensure that the activation button hooks around to the left side of the trigger guard and snaps into place on the front strap. Hook the left side of the LaserGuard Pro into the right side at an angle by inserting the locking grooves located near the activation button. Apply pressure to the front of both sides until they join together. Once LaserGuard Pro has been placed on the firearm, use the three provided screws to secure the unit from the left side. Tighten together until there is no gap. Use care not to over tighten. LaserGuard Pro features Crimson Trace's instinctive activation. It means that when the firearm is held in a natural firing grip, the unit is activated. No searching for switches, no grip alteration. This is accomplished by a front activation button on LaserGuard Pro. If you'd like to completely power down the unit to train with fixed sights, you may use the master on-off switch to turn it off. Please note that unless activated, LaserGuard Pro will not draw battery power. The on-off switch is not necessary to save battery life. LaserGuard Pro offers four activation modes for full user adaptability. Those modes are laser and light, laser only, light only, and laser with light strobe. It has been factory set to laser and light mode. To change modes, activate the unit with the instinctive activation button. While the unit is activated, press and hold the mode select button on the right panel. The module will begin to cycle through modes of operation. Release the mode button once you reach your desired mode. When LaserGuard Pro is reactivated, it will remain set in the mode you last selected. LaserGuard Pro's laser sight has been factory sighted at 50 feet. However, it is fully user adjustable for windage and elevation, allowing you to fine tune your desired distance. The laser dot should rest on top of the fixed sight's front post with correct sight picture at your desired distance. Should you need to make adjustments or fine tune your laser, 
you may make those adjustments by simply using the provided tool. This can be done with minor adjustments. Use care not to over-adjust.